Fresh coffee. Fresh coffee. Did anyone order their bloody cappuccino? I mean, strawberry. <laughs> Hello. So I've been stocking up on the uh, the Blockberg Valentine's limited foods lately, and I need a proper place to make all these foods and put them in my fridge. And there's no better place than to make a food station today. I made one already, but it was terrible. Now you don't have to- Okay, why have I been talking so robotic? Now you don't have to make them really look pretty because they're just food stations. You just cook things and put them in the fridge. Like There's no need to do that. But I kind of want to make a nice looking food station today. Like I want to outdo the first one I made and that probably will not take much to outdo because that one was a mess. So <laughs> I made this food station about a year ago. Has it been a year already? That's crazy. I don't know what to say about it. It was um, functional wise. It was great. 10 out of 10 functional. But the way it looked was was not it. Um, oh, oh, and I got my head like almost chopped off from an oven. That's crazy. And who knows when these foods, like when these Valentine's foods will be taken out. It could be another week from now or another two week or, or it could be taken out within the next update, but we can't, we can't take those chances now, can we? Okay, while we're waiting, color code of the day, this person right here, Pink Panda Bears, gave me a big old list of color codes to choose from and they telling me each and every single one of these. I'll do the first one. Okay, so let's do the sage green. That one is 185, 196, and 177. Wow. Oh, I love a good sage green. New food station. Perfect. How do we go about this? How am I going to make this look good? Okay, I'm not going to lie to you. I was going to post this video yesterday, the 20th, but I had so... I had a really bad builder's block. And I was like, okay, we're doing it tomorrow. <laughs> different four or five different building designs going on it i could not do it okay but we're back in it we're back in it just thought i'd you know say that probably doesn't matter but yeah building block happened things don't go the way i want it to but anyways i have an idea okay as you can see i've already bought all of my uh ovens here i got half of them you know being cheap half of them being pretty good ovens and i kind of want to test out like which I mean, I'm pretty sure the expensive ones are faster. We also have our drying racks here, our commercial tray rack, not drying rack, <laughs> drying rack. We got our commercial tray racks. We got a fridge and these basic shapes here are going to be the stackings. Okay, I'm going to be stacking my ovens. If you didn't know, that's just how I'm going to be doing things. It's just stacking them like this. So we're definitely going to need these shapes here. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Hopefully I don't go into, I don't run into another building block. I'm going to cry. I'm gonna cry. So originally I was gonna have like a full on building, like, you know, go inside the building and then this is where all my food station stuff would be. Let's go with an outdoor kitchen type of feel. So, you know, this type of vibe, you know, outdoorsy, um, maybe a bit foresty. I don't know. I really love forest themed stuff. If you watch like any of my like mansion builds or like family homes, I've always, I've definitely included something like this where it's just like an outdoor kitchen or something like this too. I want, I definitely want to have this type of theme for my food working station. Um, so we have food and hygiene and like energy right there. I'm gonna start with the basement. We're gonna go into like, you know, basement mode. We're gonna make a basement. Just enough like this. Okay. Oh no. How about that much? Let's just do that much. Like I want it slightly in the ground, but not like, you know, at the, the, the ground level. I want it inside the ground a bit. And we're just gonna just whoop de whoop de whoop. Just I'm gonna go with tiles. Not gonna color it quite yet because I don't know exactly what color yet, and I don't want to spend 2,000 years figuring out what color I want. We're just gonna do this. I don't know why I want it slightly in the ground, but I did. So this is what's happening. Oh, oh, is this not attached to the? Oh, someone's gonna fall through that. I'm trying to like see how everything's gonna work out. Let me just like <laughs> let me fit all of this. Let me fit all of this together real quick. I mean, it already looks better than the first one. I will admit it's it's already better. Like anything is better than that first one that I made. If you guys remember the first food station I made? You know already exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, dear Neptune, that is messy. Okay, concrete it is for that level. Okay, it's it's interesting so far. So I'm going to uh, remove these back and front pieces. We'll keep the sides for now. I might change up the fences. We're gonna get this all sorted out. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. I'm gonna place these. I wanna place these down. These ovens down real quick. I need a better visual. Ugh, the spacing on these. So silly. It's gonna be so silly. Now they're stacked, because stacked is good. Saves you some space. That's the reason why we're stacking them, is because it saves you a lot, a lot of space. Um, okay, we have our expensive ovens right here. I wanna put the cheap ovens now, like, right next to that. Like this, I guess. If I were to move it a little bit more over here, that would be ideal. It would look a little silly. Hold on. Hold on. Let me move this slightly over here. Over here. 
Our ovens are all set. We need just like an L-shaped counter. 18, 18 ovens are fairly good. Then for our counters, I think I'm just, I'm literally just gonna make a L shape counter station here. That's all I really need, right? Which brings me to my next point. I don't know if I want the fridge to be there because I want it, the closer the better. You're gonna save a lot more time. I'll put the fridge right here. Functional wise, we've got it down. Um, aesthetic wise is not, quite there yet oh, why am i struggling over like a food station this should not be i should not be spending too much energy on this you know i don't know why i'm making it a big deal i don't know why i'm making a big deal okay now i kind of want to go into this color now i kind of want to go to this color outdoor studio apartment i don't know i just need a good fence this is not a good fence i need those like a um, more brick you know stone fences like, we have this one right here, but that's too big. We just don't have the perfect fence. We don't. I don't like this one either. I think we need trees. You know what? I'm probably... I need some trees. I need trees. These are the only things to help with, like, the overall feel. Like, once you get some trees down, I'm sure it's just gonna change the entire thing. You're just gonna be like, oh, there we go. No, we need trees. Don't worry, I'm gonna include some other ones, too. Let's, uh... I'm going insane. This is not supposed to be, like, this stressful. Oh, and it's not even stressful. I, I don't know why I'm spending so much time on this. Okay, okay. The trees are such a lifesaver sometimes. Oh, now I know what fence I really want to use. Okay, maybe we just go back to, like, some standard... standard fence okay now it's starting to look like a backyard like a backyard outdoor kitchen thing right it's starting to give the vibes of that wait okay wait 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 wait. oh thank goodness thank goodness okay i feel like we're getting there we're getting somewhere we're getting somewhere all right we're getting somewhere i'm happy with whatever I'll put a little armchair here too might as well like a little recliner chair maybe i'll put like a carpet here too do i need a sink for this place probably not i'll grab a commercial sink and plop it somewhere you know the sink would have been perfect right here i think would have been so good right here i'll keep the sofa um i don't know where to put the sofa it's just not i'm not supposed to have this anymore okay now it's giving me like a rich neighborhood this type of brick is what i would imagine in like a rich person neighborhood let's see what it looks like at night okay nighttime is not it we need we need some lights and string lights are uh our savior we can we can totally rely on <laughs> this is <laughs> i don't know if this is the this is not the dream food station my dream food station what would i even title this video building my dream food station plot no I, at this point like these fences are kind of appropriate now to use because we already have like this similar color thing going on why is it double fenced i don't know you know i need to decorate this kitchen as well like this kitchen is just it is plain right now that's the point but i need to decorate it let's put like our spices and stuff i think that would help out a little bit maybe i'll have like a random fruit bowl here too fruit basket a fruit basket fruit bowl okay that that gives it a bit more of a clutter vibe you know something nice here and then i'll put like some magazines and stuff by the jacuzzi like the relaxing place over here a little relaxing spot there i mean overall i think i have the general idea of how i wanted it to look um it's double fence for security it also just i mean it's not even secure because this whole front area is just open i want some type of water vibe going on oh like this would be really nice stuff maybe like like that i want to make a waterfall i'm like i'm imagining a waterfall in the back here this is so extra this is so extra uh i don't even want to make the mountain for the waterfall i just want to like okay do i have waterfalls oh i have 111 wow this must have been from my campsite okay we're gonna cover the top we're gonna make this grass i don't know what color grass uh let's try and match it as close as possible to my grass i think that's it then we just put more like trees up here of course where's my where's my trees where's my rough trees okay cool. does that look weird this is throwing me off right here this is this is the the only thing that's been throwing this off now i mean it looks okay it looks fine <laughs> I don't want to think about it too much. I think, um, okay, you know what? I'm done. This is, this is all I should really do for this. Uh, let me just go ahead and complete this with a, like, trash can. You know, a trash can mailbox. I'm gonna use, like, these ones near the gate here. Okay, and then we're done. All of this work just for a food station, right? Like, <laughs> what? Okay. Anyways, here is my upgraded food station. Um, it's giving suburban brick neighborhood. <laughs> that's that's the only way i could describe it is like a suburban neighborhood like a really rich 
rich people suburban neighborhood vibe. Any rich neighborhood I've seen like around where I live, there's always like this expensive looking brick. You know, it's this brick, this specific brick here. And just imagine it on a big house, you know. But here is, yeah, this is the food station. It has everything you could possibly need to stock up on any food, limited or just, you know, regular as well. But it's mostly for the limited foods because I still need to stock up a lot on, on the lovely cake pops. I need to stock up on everything before they take it out. It could be any moment still. Off camera, I'll be using this new food station to do that because I must. I gotta make more cakes. I gotta make more Valentine's cakes. I gotta make that cheesecake. Yeah, we've got in total 18... 3, 6, 9, 18. Yeah, 18 total ovens. So we can just pop 18 foods in here. And by the time we're like on this side of the ovens, I'm sure most of these would be done. And then we can just, you know, rinse and repeat. We have a place to chill, like a nice little jacuzzi spot. If you ever get stinky, you need some energy. Look at that. Perfect. Look how fast the hygiene goes up. This is great. And then, you know, obviously just like the new magazines slash uh, coffee table books just for decoration. They aren't functional at all. You cannot pick them up. That was so, that was so quick. And then, of course, if you need a place to, other than the fridge, you know, the fridge should be the first place you put your food in. But if you want more of a look, you just put it on the tray rack here, because that's what I do. After I, you know, finish a lot of foods, I put it here just to make it look pretty. But yeah, this is pretty much like a really, I feel like this is definitely a lot more of an upgrade than the first food station I had. The first one was just blue and white. It did not look that good. But this one is... It's got a theme. It's, I give it the outdoor, you know, backyard, outdoor kitchen theme uh, food station. So that's what it is. Pretty nice. And a random waterfall. Let's not forget. I need to learn how to make a better waterfall, though. I think that is something I'll probably try to practice a bit more. But yeah, that wraps up today's block break episode. If you guys did enjoy it, you found it interesting, inspiring, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up and make sure you hit the subscribe button too because it is completely free. Make sure, once again, to stock up on any Valentine's foods that you wish to keep or flowers even or items um because uh they could be gone anytime soon it's already been a week right it's already been a week but thank you guys for taking the time to watch this and i'll talk to you all in the next video goodbye I'm, you know i'm happy with this i'm happy with this it's, it's fine yeah